welcome to my channel today today i'm going to teach you how you can repair your crankshaft remember crankshaft is the backbone of every ic engine every internal combustor engine and it's very very expensive for that matter if your crankshaft has problem does it mean that you have to throw it away no is the answer what can be done I'm going to show you four different ways in which you are going to get your crankshaft repair and back to normal and you can make good use of it. You are going to enjoy this video. Please watch. If possible, take your pen and jot down because I'm going to tell you the details step by step of how you can get your crankshaft back to, your, to the its former efficiency. Your engine will give you the normal output that I usually give you before. Please, before that, go to the button, test, press subscribe, and also give me thumbs up for this video because you are definitely going to enjoy it. Now, let's start with the first one. The first one is polishing. Polishing. That is how to repair our crankshaft. The first one is polishing. What does polishing means? Polishing means you you are trying to remove a small imperfection or tiny surface crashes or cranks from the journal of a crankshaft. And if the journal is too rough or it has bone or it has particle or other debris that stick to the surface of your journal, you know, this can cause a break the bearings and also can even increase bearing wear and risk of the bearing seizure. So this must be removed. So for you to remove this now, what do you need? You need polishing. That is for one thing about polishing. And what is the goal of polishing a crankshaft? The goal of polishing a crankshaft is to achieve a flat smooth surface that can make your bearing to ride without any obstruction and this will support the supply of your oil pump so how can you polish i'll mention two ways where it is not a hard and fast rule when it comes to polishing your crankshaft because some have proved this method wrong, but this is the method I always use. The first one is that I polish opposite the engine rotation. I polish opposite the engine rotation. And when I polish after the, uh, opposite the engine rotation, then I polish again in the same rotation of the engine. Then I stop my polishing there. What material can you use to polish? The first one, you can use micro finishing tape. Micro finishing tape, you can see it on the screen, is very good for polishing a crankshaft. Or you can use abrasive belt. Abrasive belt can be used to polish journal crankshaft. Why manually? You can also use some paper, yes, uh, or, or some of you usually call it emery paper. But you know, um, we popularly call it sandpaper. You can use sandpaper to polish your crankshaft. Remember, before you can polish your crankshaft, you are trying to remove a small imperfection, tiny scratch, yeah, to smooth this, uh, to remove a, a scratch surface from the crankshaft. That is what you are trying to achieve by polishing a crankshaft. That is the polishing is the first way so that you can restore your crankshaft back to normal what is the second one the second one is canal cleaning canal cleaning in canal cleaning you want to wash your it's about uh, to make sure you wash your crankshaft very well the first one you want to remove all the debris all the debris we are these debris in most cases unknowing to that some debris that gather up in your oil passage oh you no know, they say oh you can see it on the screen that oh Pointed rain, that is oil passage O in your crankshaft. Sometimes debris gather there. They clutch the O. So it is part of you restoring your crankshaft to make sure that you clean those O. And how can you clean the O? You can use uh, air pressure, air pressure to through the O. 
Make sure that you use air pressure to clean the hole. You can use compressor or other means to make sure that you, you clean the hole. If you do this, this is part of the way you can um, achieve or restore your crankshaft back to normal or you can repair your crankshaft. Then you want to pay attention to journal fillet radius. Journal fillet radius is still under canal cleaning. What is journal fillet radius? For you to understand it, let me first of all tell you about journal. Remember, your journal is the area in which your bearing ride. That is your journal. Then, the surface of the counter weight is called cheeks. So, the fillet radio is where these two parts meet together. On your screen, you can see I those red arrow pointed to your fill, uh, your fillet radius. But you can usually understand it this way. Your your meter right on your on the surface of your crankshaft on the journal, right? You remember your meter did not cover every part of that plate. There's a small gap at the edges of your meter. It is that that edge that we refer to as journal fillet radius. So, so in most cases, most cases, it usually gather debris, so they gather debris, and when they gather debris, you have to make sure that you, you clean it up. It's part of you cleaning your crankshaft. So, it's part of you maintaining or repairing your crankshaft. Let's go to the third one. Bearing replacement. Bearing replacement is the third one. Why do you need to replace your bearing? One, sometimes, sometimes when your bearing continues working in your crankshaft, it will get to a point that will not be insufficient crush again. What do you mean by insufficient crush? You know, there must be a total contact between your bearing and the housing, which is fundamental to make sure that the good heat transfer take place and there is correct seating of those two between those two parts. The crush means that your meter is there is a good contact between your meter and your housing. So if this is not there again, there is no sufficient crush, then there is need for you to replace your meter. You must replace your meter. So, as you are trying to replace your meter now, it's part of you repairing your crankshaft. And when your when there's no insufficient crush in your crankshaft, what will happen? You will notice that there will be a kind of to and fro movement of your meter in the housing. There will be to and fro movement, and this to and fro movement will lead to friction. Will lead to friction. Mm. So, for you to avoid that, to avoid meta to meta contact, we want to replace your meta to make sure that there is enough crush between your meta and your housing. That is the third way that you can repair your crankshaft. What is the fourth one, which is the main one? Grinding. 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 The main reason why you grind a crankshaft is because of tear and wear over time. As your crankshaft is working with melters, it will come to a point. Tear and wear will definitely set in. And for you to remove this tear and wear, you want to grind the crankshaft. What do you mean by grinding the crankshaft? It means you are trying to remove the top layer of the journal away so that to make the surface smooth. Because the journal, the crankshaft now is a bit lesser. You want to reduce it. And that must be compensated by the the bearing you are putting in so what will now determine the amount taken off of your crankshafts so that you can buy a bigger size bearing it is the oem specification what does that mean original equipment manufacturer specification it is that that it is there you are going to determine which the amount of crankshaft or the surface you are removing, the, the amount you are taking off from your crankshaft. 
you know your meta we have standard your your standard if your standard is still go down with 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.5 is still not bad you still you are still maintaining standard but when it's now going down to 10 0 10 0 0.20 0 0.30 or 0 0.50 based on the engine design it is there granny take place you still want to enjoy a smooth surface so because of TRW, and sometimes a deep cut on the crankshaft, maybe the engine not, there's a deep cut in, in your crankshaft. And because of that, there's, for you to eradicate that deep cut, the crankshaft needs to be reduced. By the time you reduce your crankshaft, to still maintain surfaces crush and contact between the surface, the smooth surface of your crankshaft, of, of your journal now, and your bearing, there's need for you to buy a bigger bearing. That is why you have 010, 020, 030 bearings. But for you to determine, as I said before, the level, you must determine, you must check original EOM. This is where we are doing the store. Hope you get it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.